It's a beautiful day here. And I'm going to work on my kitchen shelves. I have some barn wood that was here on the property when I bought it. And I have chosen two pieces with a live edge. I'm sanding them down. My daughter sanded them with 120. Now I'm sanding them with 180 and then 220. I'm only doing the tops with 220, but I'll do it all over with 180 because if you're sitting down at the dining room table, you'll be able to see the top of the kitchen shelves. So I love the grain of the wood. I think I'm going to wash it a tiny bit darker just so it will match a little better with my walnut countertops. And then I'm going to cut some corbels and hang it. Stay tuned. Pretty smooth. I do have this rough patch right here that I'm really going to have to work on because I don't mind it being rough. My whole house is kind of rough, so um, that's the vibe I'm going for. But everything else is sanding out pretty smooth. Now, if you're going to do this, make sure that the wood is very dry. We sanded it once when it was a little damp, and then I decided to put it in the garage for about three or four weeks because the water in the wood raises the grain, and then you have to sand it all over again. So why would you want to do your work twice? Of course, around here, we usually love to do our work two or three times. Anyway, we're trying to get away from that habit. In a few minutes, when I get this rough spot worked out, I am going to mix some dark stain. I think I have some Kona, which is what I use on my floors, and then my cabinets are walnut, so they're dark anyway. So I'm going to mix some dark stain, and then I am going to um, dilute it with a lot of water, and I'm going to wipe it on quickly and wipe it off just so it blends with the wood that I already have in my house. <laughs> 